Let's see what Bozo carries around. Underwear, a three-person tent. No, no, wait, that's even more underwear. But, hey, what's this? Shampoo! Do I hold here in my hands the secret of his gleaming curls? All right, I've got a shampoo, toothpaste, some other items. Oh, Cletus! Oh, that's the last thing I need. And the suit must be cleaned on a cold wash. Do I make myself clear? As clear as clay. My assistant will pick it up tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, fill out the registration, Oppenbot, and take good care of the bag with the money. Apparently, only rabble work in this so-called hotel. Somebody works here? Excuse me, Inspector, but isn't that the bag with my plasma exchange whoopie doo mammoth fur relay? Don't be silly, Oppenbot. The bags are identical. Yours is already in our room. And that's where I'm going to retire now. I hope it isn't as shabby as the service here. Whew, close shave. I hate that stuck-up idiot. Better stay alert. He must be looking for goal. But at least I know where I can get that plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth fur relay. Alright, it seems like I can change her back here. Let's see what's inside. Hmm, I'm curious. Hmm, rare porcelain. Antique crystal. Uh, shards, shards, and more shards. What's he gonna do with all these shards? Aha! Uh -huh. Money! Okay, paper money. What do we do next? Hey, Doc! <sighs> For the thousandth time, Rufus, you'll only get your ball back when you tell me how the leftover pudding got into my particle accelerator. First of all, that wasn't pudding. And second, um... Cletus is here. He's moved into the room next door. He's probably looking for gold. Oh, no. Did he see you? See me? You're talking to the Master of Disguise, the Human Cloak of Invisibility. Sneakity Sneaker, the sneak attack on the soft underbelly of injustice! Hey, keep it down in there! Well, uh, you know. Uh, Rufus, maybe it would be better if you stayed in the room for now. Rubbish! You want a, a plasma desma thingy thingy? Well, I will get you a plasma desma thingy. But Rufus... Shh, you don't want Cletus to hear you, do you? How's the calibration coming? It would go a lot faster if you... <clears throat> got a plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth for relay, right? Um, exactly. Yeah, what would you ever do without me? I have to go. You've kept me from my vital professional mission for too long. The farther you are from the room, the less we can bother you. Hello, reception? Always at your service. What's your room number? Room one. Oh, the inspector again. If this is about the bedding, those aren't spots, just a pattern. Which reminds me, do you often sleep with your mouth open? If so, then... Yeah, 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 fine. This isn't about the bedding. Ah, all the better. How can I help you?
is our laundry done yet? How should I know? I thought it was part of the service. Ah, the service. Yes, I've heard a lot about that, but nothing that has convinced me that it actually exists. I suggest you pick up your laundry yourself, instead of relying on some mystic New Age pipe dream. Can I do anything else to you? I would like to dine now. Ha! <laughs> You've got guts. I like that. Have you selected something? You have kept your... Oh, the... Yes, you got it here. You are Inspector Cletus, aren't you? Uh, of course I'm Inspector Cletus. Who else? Uh, slimy hair, slimy character. Uh, uh, has no appetite anymore. Uh, uh, would rather talk about something else. Uh, uh, Cletus, yes, in the flesh. I would like to speak to my assistant. Yeah? Of course. I'll send him down to your room if that's all right. Oh, why don't you? And uh, tell him to sing the Dum Bum song on the way. <laughs> I'll pass that along. Thank you. At last. Now reception should be free. I just have to make sure I don't run into that often by. Let's hide in the closet for a moment. <laughs> what if I... F oh, no. I am the greatest. Here comes the dumb bum, the dumb bum, the dumb bum, the dumb bum. The doopy dim doopy dim doopy dim doopy dim doopy dim dumb bum. Yes. What is it? You summoned me to your room? No, I did not. But you did. You just called to reception. I would certainly know what I have or have not done. I'm starting to think you're suffering from acute processor overload. But I heard your voice myself. If you aren't sure what my voice sounds like, then listen, and listen well. Never bother me again without a good reason. Understood? Yes, of course. But... But what? Okay, our reception should be clear now. Ah, the guest from number five. Don't worry, the headaches go away after a few days. What? Uh, no, I I'm here about the menu. <laughs> That's funny. Most guests are gone because of the menu, you know? And our old cook is even in prison because of the menu. Can I have the menu or not? Lickety shit. You just have to sign this waiver form first. Ah, that's a snot rag. Yeah, well, there are just too many possibilities for being harmed by our meals. A form would be way too much work, and our lawyer suffers from depression. So we just copy the guest signature onto the appropriate waiver later. Very economical thinking. And please sign with a W in front. Uh, excuse me? Uh, Woofus? Yeah, the drawer for R is stuck. Oh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Thanks. Here comes the dum bum, the dum bum, the dum bum, the dum bum. Well, folks, I've got to go. <laughs> Finally. The dopey dim, dopey dim, dopey dim, dopey dim, dum bum. No, Rufus. I need the one-third screwdriver for the operation. And I need it to randomly combine with items. I said, hands off! All right, all right.
<laughs> Did it. Rufus one, entropy zero. Okay, so what's now? All blue. Let's the see heating is off, and that's the way it's gonna stay. Not that I couldn't switch it back on any time. I'm thinking here primarily of the environment. I don't really know why I've turned that heater off. But anyway. Okay, so Bozo now is freezing. Let's talk to him. Hey, Bozo, you old pirate. Go ahead and say it. Huh? Nah. How can you be a pirate without the cutter? I was gonna say, you old liver spot repository. <laughs> you better get dressed. You don't want to shock Gold into another coma as soon as she wakes up, do you? <sighs> Wasn't that awesome before? I suppose. Ah, you're unhappy, aren't you? Unhappy doesn't even come close. I certainly would be in your place. <laughs> After all, you slept through all the cool action. Now, don't you think we should get dressed? I can't. My clothes are in the laundry. And if I bring them to you, will you finally cover up then? Why should I? You must be freezing. It is a bit drafty. I think the heater is on the blink. But, well, for a real pirate. You? A pirate? Who convinced you of that rubbish? Oh, it was you. Oh, <laughs> right. Ask a stupid question. I'm honored that you're trying to emulate me. But face the facts. You'll never be a go-getter like me. Come on, crawl into your soft and cuddly placenta fur coat. And... Ah, forget it. Now I'm definitely gonna sit here in the cold. I don't even care if I catch the whooping pox. Your nakedness is throttling my sense of aesthetics. Especially when you do that thing with your legs. After all, there's a lady present. Goal? She seems rather absent to me. And as long as she is, why would you begrudge me a little leg room? <laughs> you have no idea how hard it is to find pants that fit in my size. All right. There's an absent lady present. But is that a reason to asphyxiate her? She's already blushing. Um, Rufus? I think you're standing on her breathing tube. Huh? Uh, whatever. This isn't about any stupid tubes. This is about, uh... Um, leg room? Exactly. Not that I have any less leg room. I'm thinking about Doc, too. Don't worry about my leg room, boy. Speaking of which, how come we never see your legs, Doc? Let's just leave it at that. Don't worry. Whatever. I need your towel. Okay. No, no, don't. You just don't know what you want. <laughs> New eyes! I'm telling you, you're gonna catch the whooping pox. Rubbish. My tongue would be completely blue. I would have a cough, the sniffles, and a fever. Blue tongue, cough, sniffles, fever. Got it. Rufus, you aren't planning to infect me with whooping pox, are you? Uh, 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 uh. I only said you would catch it. How you do that will be my little secret. Ah, do whatever you want. Okay. Except that thing with your legs! Ugh, anything but that! <laughs> Ugh. Sorry, I've got to go. Don't take it personally. It's just your disgusting appearance. Ugh. My eyes are smarting already. Ugh. Hello, Rest Room one. Oh, the how can I help you? Uh, I would like to order something sinfully expensive sent to my room. Mm, actually, we don't offer any services in this hotel. 
But if you want, I can simply tack on a horrendous surcharge to your bill. The item will then appear as an accounting error. Oh, that would be very nice. Oh, uh, no problem. I would have done it anyway. Standard procedure, if you know what I mean. Can I do anything else to you? I would like to dine now. Have you... I'll, uh, <laughs> have the fish brain stew, please. All right, it's your life. Meal will be served at 12 on the dot. Please be on time. The dining room is guest to cockroaches, and the stew loves to chase those critters around the room. Yes, fine. Uh, please notify me in good time. All right, who am I to deny such a courageous man his last wish? Remember, room one, Cletus. 12 o'clock, Cletus. Fish brain stew, shovel, trash bag, all written down. I'll call you. 12 o'clock, understood. Thank you very much. Come on. Why is my cutter at Aw, oh, it's... Not until... And there's... Ugh, you almost... For my ex or anybody. And that... <laughs> yeah. Didn't you just say you were hungry? What? You heard that? Oh, yeah. They call it selective perception. Sort of a mental superpower that separates the wheat from the chaff. Chaff in the left half of your brain, wheat in the right. <laughs> yeah, ain't I something? If you want to get me something to eat, there's a pie vending machine in the basement. Eh, we'll see. First, I have to find out if that will get me anywhere. What? Well, I bring you something to eat, and then I also get something out of it. That's the way it works. What about a good feeling for having done a friend a favor? Huh? No, not like that. I meant something useful. A uh, bait fish or something. Come on, please. Get Why should... I'm telling you, you're gonna catch the whooping pox. Rubbish. My tongue would be completely blue. I would have a cough, the sniffles, and a fever. Blue tongue, cough, sniffles, fever. Got it. Ah, do it. Ugh. 